Previously on the World on Camper, we found an awesome little campsite on the water, which provided a great location to unwind and snorkel. Unlucky for us, this was to be short-lived, as we got caught in an unexpected flash flood. Fortunately, Nellie made it out, and we continued our trip towards Split. The next morning, we were off. After arriving in Split late, and having a restless night in the shopping mall car park, and just wanting to find another quiet location. We followed our wits and made the journey south to catch a ferry to the Highland North Park. Hey guys, so we're just in the line for the ferry now to Va. It's about that long. Cost about 266 kuna, which is alright. Um, but yeah. Hopefully we're not waiting for too much longer, but it could be a couple ferries away. Thank you. to get some clothes. The wait for the ferry ended up being around almost an hour, which meant that we had enough time to turn the engine off and go for a swim. It was a beautiful day which made the 30 minute journey to Va Island a relaxing scenic ride. And we found a pretty sweet spot tonight. It was the first campsite on the island that we could find. Um, half of it's um, naturists. It's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, this is our view. And then over there, there's some people running around the nudie. I'm going for a swim. Very good, eh? I need to cut this hair out. Yeah, I'll cut it for you. It's cold? Yeah. Is it? It's 
Our first afternoon on Var Island was a hit, so we settled into our chairs with a glass of wine and watched the sunset. Over the next couple of days, we spent most of our time in our front yard ocean. The water was more blue than we'd ever seen it, so it was hard to keep away. Armless chair on a wooden floor Keys hanging from the kitchen door Leaves outside are almost green You worry about where I've been And we dance to the peace drum Like we did when we were young But we never talk about the loss Of a friend All my clothes are out to dry Waving in the wind against the sky now we stare into the fire If you listen you can hear the sparkles choir And we dance to the peace drum Like we did when we were young But we never Talk about the love. The campsite also had a restaurant, which is where we had our first taste of Croatian seafood. To say the least, it was delicious. The morning we were set to leave, we first had to deal with a slight issue of a flat tyre, which provided to be a little more challenging than expected. So basically, Ford has provided this thing here, which not only raises the jack, but as I found out, also goes down that little hole, like so. So then, the tyre underneath can be lowered. was seized under there with rust <laughs> so it took a bit of manhandling to get it out oh, but we got it Dawn's working hard and I'm just drinking coffee but what else is you? We are just leaving this campsite now. It's pretty sweet. We've been here for three nights and it's time to move on. We're going to travel to the other side of the island to Var City. Um, try to find a camp near there and explore what that's about. Um, yeah. Dylan's just um, paying for it now. And then we'll be on the road again. Found a common emotion as the day sun blazed the sands and with the mountains and ocean and the way brain makes the man and you could almost
So we've just arrived at Cave Vera in Var um, today, which we drove from the other side of the island for about an hour and a half, which seemed like it took forever because traffic was pretty much going at 40 k's um, per hour the whole way, um, which was fine and nally, but yeah, a bit slow. Yeah, the roads are really narrow, that's what I can really say. Anything else, Tegan? No. You're tired. Both very tired. You're in for a swim. It's nice. You're looking very tan. Very tan. Tegan eating as always. What are those dance moves? Come on, I'm tired. What you eating? Warmy. Classic. Alright, should be gone soon. Yeah, so I, I guess interesting point to note. Um, we we were in split, um, probably about ten minutes away from the split to Bar Island Ferry. Um, I think. We looked at the prices and originally that ferry crossing was going to cost us about 820 kuna or roughly around there um, or we had another plan which we did which was drive an hour and a half south along the coast to a little town I forgot the name of the town we'll have to look it up later um, but it's the closest point to Var and that ferry crossing is probably about 30 minutes and only cost us 222 kuna or something around that. Taking that ferry crossing and then driving an hour and a half from that side of the island to get to the Havar side, probably more from Split to Havar took us about a quarter of a tank of diesel, um, which pretty much half the price of what it would have cost us. Um, also think to like the campsite, um, the first campsite you hit after you make that little crossing um, on the far side of the island is actually it's quite nice. I mean, there's not much there. It's pretty basic as it comes, but we had a spot right on the water and we went swimming pretty much three times a day, if not more, just because it's a nice little sandy bay, which around here seems to be main, mainly pebbles. So... Or all sharp rocks, or kinna, sea urchin, everywhere. Um, but yeah, it's good. The following day, we made our way to Var Town by jumping on one of the Camp Vera's daily shuttles. The town is beautiful with winding narrow streets and boats coming to dock.
The Var Fortress is perched on top of a hill overlooking the northern older town below. The walkout was not so bad and very much worth the view. The fortress dates back to the 16th century. Together with the town walls, the fortress represents centuries of protection to the town and its port. Today, the fortress is a symbol of an extremely significant and turbulent period of the town's history and is one of the finest town fortresses on the Croatian coast today. Captain shooting a bow and arrow. Do you reckon this is where they lock some people up? Because I feel like cold. Imagine if that was your only bit of fresh air. And that whole room. I didn't see that. That was so. It would be the feeling to live here <laughs> for ages. Oh, um, terrible. Be Say that again. Uh, only a UK ship, but you've also got a weight around your ankle. Nasty. Nice lighting. Do you reckon you get a pick? Mm, not sure, but this has a nice underwear to floor. Does that? It's quite actually quite pretty. It's quite a pretty purple. Where's the bars go? In here. Oh, I guess that was kind of showing up, wasn't it? You get the Airbnb this stuff. After a long day walking around, we decided to head back to Nelly. We found the town had a very relaxed holiday vibe about it and it would have been easy enough to find a cosy corner cafe and watch the day pass. We are heading out of Camp Vera today and gonna go for that two hour ride. Hopefully it doesn't feel as long as last time, hey? Yeah, this place is quite expensive, just by the way, Canberra, <laughs> it's about roughly, how much do we pay, like 731 kuna for three days. How many? Tairo <laughs> Toru, um, no, uh, yeah, so that's roughly about $50 New Zealand, a day, one night, which is quite expensive. I mean, it is only twenty-five dollars each. You think of it like that, but still fifty bucks relative to nothing. You know. Yeah, it's been a good stay, but I think we just kind of want to move on, get back down to the other end, go back to the same camp, Camp Malaska, that we were at the first place, um, and then in the next couple of days we're going to catch the ferry and head back to the mainland, um, which is a bit sad, but pretty exciting as well. I think. I think it's time to move on from the island life, unfortunately. But yeah. Well, yeah. Cheers.
catch us next week as we make it back to the mainland with our sights set on heading south towards the beautiful port town of Orrich on the Paleosac Peninsula.